so in this video we will learn how to enable course for uh, our react js publication the full form of corrs is cross origin resource sharing so what that means is it's basically a security feature so that uh, the api that you have created should not be accessed by everyone so let's assume we have created an api project right and if we host our api project and if uh, we allow everyone to use that api then what happens is everybody starts using that api everybody starts consuming that api you will uh, the bandwidth of your uh, server will reduce and uh, maybe if you have a, da a sensitive data even that sensitive data will be exposed to everyone so to avoid these things by default asp.net web api project uh, has uh, enabled course based on course policy it disables the consumption of api from different web applications so what you have to do is you have to enable course for your react.js web application so in this tutorial in this video we will learn how to enable course for our react.js web application <coughs> so let's first stop the web api server and then you have to install this package install package microsoft.asp.net.webapi.course okay so i will copy this and then go to your project select your project and then click on tools Ma NuGet package manager and click on package manager console in packager package manager console you paste the you paste that code and click on enter so that this package will be installed So the package is now installed let's go ahead and use it to enable um, the course policy for our react.js web application so i'll quickly write here we'll import using system dot web dot http dot course okay and then After this, we'll write config dot 
enable course we'll write new enable course attribute here we have to mention the URL which we have to provide access to okay <clears throat> so the URL of our react.js application is this no need to copy department also you just have to copy the until here so we'll paste that so we have to enable for this and then star and star which basically means to execute all the methods and all the headers okay let's save that and um, maybe clean the solution build the solution again semicolon expected so we missed a semicolon here and let's try to build again so the build is successful now let's start the server So now it is running let's hope that the problem is now solved let's close the debugger and reload our application click on departments and yes we are now able to access the API okay so that was about uh, the CORS problem and how to resolve it resolve the course problem.